When we talk about cars, Toyota has been a trusted name in the market for decades before Tesla even existed. But if we talk about evolution, Tesla undoubtedly took the first step to a futuristic car by introducing electronic vehicles. With the launch of Tesla for the electronic vehicles, Tesla overtook Toyota and many other competitors to become the world's most valuable car maker. Both companies are now working hard to come up with the technologies that will help them dominate the car market, and as of now, they are both focusing heavily on their batteries. With Toyota claiming to have their first solid-state battery prototype and Elon Musk already working on mass-producing his 4680 batteries, we have a lot to look forward to. In today's video, let's evaluate both the batteries side to side to see which one of the two is actually ready for the near future. In recent years, many companies like Tesla, Toyota, BMW, and QuantumScape have been working on developing their electronic vehicle batteries, but the most hyped among them is Toyota's solid state battery. What is a solid state battery? The shift of technology from using oil and gas operated cars to EVs has also spurred on battery research that is now looking to replace the current lithium ion battery with something more reliable and safe. The conventional lithium ion batteries used a liquid electrolyte solution and if they weren't managed properly they used to swell and leak from the temperature and mechanical stress. That's where solid state batteries come into play. For years now, solid state batteries have been promised to us as a safer alternative for lithium ion batteries. Compared to the conventional lithium ion, solid state lithium metal batteries are much lighter, durable, more powerful, charge faster, and pose a lower risk of flammability. Companies are now looking to exchange the liquid with a solid electrolyte that will allow the battery to have a very high energy density, along with a reduced size and weight, which will, in turn, boost the overall performance of the car. Toyota isn't one to stay behind in a race, so they have recently announced that Toyota will be ready to unveil their new solid-state battery technology in 2021, and in a few years, they plan on mass-producing solid-state batteries for their future cars. Many companies have tried to develop a reliable battery source and have failed time and time again, so what makes Toyota so different? Toyota is investing in a plan that will easily sustain them in the future. When you see it from a scientific point of view, it'll make sense why solid-state batteries are more likely to dominate the market in the future than Elon's fancy Tesla 4680. They have also joined hands with QuantumScape, a California-based startup that has a solid-state battery design that offers 80% more range than the current lithium-ion cells. Meanwhile, Tesla is busy conducting their own experiments with their cylinder-shaped Tesla battery 4680. In September 2020, Elon Musk announced that Tesla was due to produce a new cell type called the 4680 in 2021. The new cell is almost twice the diameter of the current 2170 type battery the Tesla cars are using. It falls into the heavy category as the battery length has been increased by 10 millimeters. Musk claims that the battery would offer their car 16% more range and deliver six times the power with 14% less cost per kilowatt hour. The cell would be a great innovation if Musk could actually pull this off. However, this technology is sporting many problems. Musk had claimed that Tesla would aim to achieve 10 gigawatt hours of production with their new 4680 cells. However, the production yield was reduced by 20% in 2020. It's not surprising because Tesla isn't just planning to introduce a new battery, they are also planning on making a full production shift from a liquid electrolyte to a dry electrolyte. It drastically reduced steps in the manufacturing and also involved a shift in equipment that'll adapt different materials for anodes and cathodes. The battery has nearly 5.5 times the volume simply due to its larger dimension, but the meteor battery structure does have its benefits. Each roll of cell pack is more active battery material and less waste of space in outer metal cases. This maximizes the space by training multiple module cases for a streamlined pallet of cells that are wired in parallel. All these new developments will help Tesla lower the cost of batteries by almost 56% per kilowatt, which would ultimately impact the new budget range of the car. Another notable structure of the Tesla battery is that while the other companies are emphasizing on building a cost-efficient rectangle-shaped design, Tesla is spending extra millions on keeping their battery design cylindrical. On the other hand, Toyota claims to be the first company to sell cars made of solid-state batteries in the future. Toyota promises a trip of 500 kilometers on one 10-minute charge, a recharge from zero to full in 10 minutes, all while keeping in mind all the safety concerns and durability of the product. While Tesla already has a fully developed battery and the manufacturing equipment to start mass producing soon, while the Japanese car makers are still rushing to correct their solid-state battery prototype and setting up the necessary infrastructure to supply the automakers. The Japanese government is also putting in a funding of 2 trillion yen, which is equivalent to $19.2 billion to support and speed up this mass production infrastructure. Who will be leading the mass production race in the future? Elon Musk has already declared that Giga Berlin will be the largest battery cell plant in the world with the capacity of producing over 100 gigawatt per year, and the number can go up to 200 to 250 gigawatt in the future. It won't be wrong to say that by the time Toyota starts mass producing, Tesla would already be aiming for 3 terawatt batteries production per year. 
challenges faced by both companies. Tesla may seem to be ahead in all aspects, but one advantage Toyota has over Tesla is that they are keeping the battery designed to a typical rectangular shape, which is easy to make and cost efficient. The solid state electrolyte is well suited to a rectangular shaped battery because solid electrolytes are near impossible to bend. If Musk keeps investing in his venture of finding a way to fold these solid state electrolytes into Tesla's roll cells, it may cost him unnecessary delays and over the top investments. One of the biggest challenges Toyota is facing is the shorter lifespan of the solid state battery as they tend to damage easily after repeated charging. To start producing solid state batteries with great efficiency, they first need to figure out how to create an electrolyte that will not deform simply from repeated charging. In this matter, Tesla claims that their battery module will last up to 300 to 500,000 miles, and replacing modules will only cost around $5,000. When can we expect these new batteries in the market? Well, Tesla already has unveiled their 4680 batteries and Elon claims that they are already ready for mass production. But when Musk canceled the new Tesla Model S Plaid Plus, which would have featured the first Tesla 4680 cells, theories claim that despite Elon's claim, the 4680 cells weren't available in mass quantities just yet. Tesla is slowly ramping up production of 4680 cells, which is why many of the new arrivals from Tesla are being delayed to 2022. And all other Tesla models which were supposed to be switching to 4680 will continue to use the 2170 cells for the time being. Toyota falls behind in this race of production as it still only has a prototype battery with many flaws. The battery is still under development and will have to pass all its shortcomings to gain its true potential. Even when Toyota has its breakthrough, we can only expect a limited production by 2025 because of the expensive manufacturing. We will just have to wait and see how things turn out for Toyota in the future. But as of now, Tesla seems to have the most logical solution and is most likely to release their 4680 cells first.